With the Red Sea 650 stripped down to only the tank stand and sump, it was time to start rebuilding and upgrading. First up, sand. The sand they use in the Red Sea reboot is Two Little Fishies Outstanding Selection Special Grade Coarse Reef Sand. Now don't let the coarse in the product name throw you. The grain size is between 1 to 3 millimeters, with the majority being in the 2.5 millimeter range. That's bigger than sugar sand, which moves around when you do so much as glance at it, yet not too large to be dangerous for sand dwelling fish like leopard wrasses and jawfish. The special grade coarse reef sand comes in live and dry varieties with the 15 pound bag being the live offering and the 44 pound bag being the dry sand offering. Dry sands are often very dirty, so before I committed to the dry variety, the outstanding selection special grade coarse sand, I gave it the rinse test. Add some sand to a five gallon bucket, add tap water and stir. Here's how clean the sand was right out of the bag. The two little fishy sand came clean in under five minutes, which made prepping it for the tank very easy. With the sand in place, I went with Real Reef Rock. I've used Real Reef Rock for years on my tank and my client's tanks, and I've always had great experience with it. The rock looks aged from day one, and it comes in a variety of shapes and sizes to meet your aquascape needs. I used a mix of branch and small through extra large Real Reef Rock sizes in my build, and I did the same on the Red Sea Reboot. The branch rock is under the other rock to help elevate it off the sand bed to promote better flow around the rocks. I kept the aquascape lower in the tank, especially on the left side, as I knew I had a larger naso tank and a rabbit fish that I wanted to be able to swim up and over the rocks versus just around the rocks. Next upgrade, the return pump. The stock AC return pump served its purpose and I replaced it with the SDC 7.0 return pump. This pump is controllable through the included controller or the C-Shade Control All app. That means as the flow needs of the tank change, such as when I add a dual meter reactor that runs off the return line manifold, I just have to increase the flow of the pump through the controller or the app. Adding the Cichet SDC 7.0 to the Red Sea rebuild was simple, as the pump comes with a variety of fittings for both soft and hard plumbing. It even comes with metric fittings if you need them. I used a barb fitting on the Red Sea reboot and of course a hose clamp to secure the hose to the barb fitting. The Red Sea Reefer skimmer has stayed on the tank as it has performed well during our year of testing. In-tank flow will be handled by two Red Sea Reef Waves. The Red Sea Reef Waves are my gyro pump for two reasons. Pump control is done via the app. The app, called a Reef Feet, is the most straightforward and easiest to use of all the gyro control methods. One in the tank gets the Red Sea Reef Wave 45 and can push up to 3,960 gallons per hour. The other end gets a Reef Wave 25, which pushes 1,960 gallons per hour. Why the two pumps on the Red Sea Reboot? A couple reasons, and the first one is length of the tank. This tank is about 63 inches end to end. Therefore, if you want a good amount of flow on this end, but you only have one pump on that end, you're gonna have to turn this pump up very high. That means a lot of flow right here and medium to low flow over there. And if you have soft corals, LPS corals that don't want a lot of flow, if you've got one pump cranking it down here, you can't put those corals on this end of the tank. Now we have less options in terms of coral placement. One reason that I like to have two pumps on the tank, especially when we have a longer tank like this. Also, two pumps give us variety. They give me options. I can crank this one up a lot and have this one low. I can crank this one up medium and have this one be medium flow and then have the two flows meet right here in the center. I can have flow smashing together, which is a great way to create variety of flow is by having these two things smash. I don't have to have laminar flow, one flow going in one direction. That's like a gyre flow. I'm not a fan of that because it looks like a hurricane's blowing through. All the corals are blowing one direction. So by having two pumps, we can mix up the flow. I can have it high over here, then high over here. I can have flow smashed together. I have all kinds of different varieties when I have two pumps. Moving on to lighting, we wanted to give the Red Sea Respec LED the run on a tank. Red Sea lights on a Red Sea tank? That made sense to us. Making the switch to the Respec LED was easy. We added a bracket for the Respec, taking care to route the power cords through the channels on the existing Red Sea fixture. These channels make hiding the cord easy and keep the clean look above the tank. The final upgrade for the Red Sea reboot, at least for the moment, is to automate this tank. See, this tank needs to mostly run itself. That means automatic water changes, topping itself off, and I want eyes on this tank at all times. 
That means I'm gonna use a Neptune Systems Apex controller to control, monitor, and automate this tank. Automatic water changes will be done to a Neptune Systems dose, and auto top off is handled to the Neptune Systems ATK. I took things up a notch and have both the water change and the auto top off run to the mixing station on the other side of the room. No refilling of ATO containers as the mixing station is fully automated. I'll cover how I did that in a future episode. Now that all the equipment upgrades are in place, we've got the salinity right on the tank, it's time to put in some livestock. And we always get lots of questions about the equipment that we use in our builds, so we're going to take each piece of equipment that we use on the Red Sea Reboot and break it out into its own episode. Till then, bring on the damselfish. Just kidding. I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.